For a hook, I will be using these stainless steel hooks from Risen in size 4. Place the hook securely in your vise. For thread, I am using Vivas 6 aught in brown. Start your thread halfway down the hook shank. Well, in fact, anywhere really works. I find though leaving a small space behind the eye helps with keeping the head smaller though, but it's up to you. Bring your thread to the bend of the hook. Then I like adding a dubbing ball here to help prop up the zonker strip. Red hairline works great. Form a dubbing ball just past the bend of the hook and end with your thread right in front of the ball. Now for the zonker strip. Measure out and cut a strip that is about the length of the hook shank. Today I'm using olive barred flesh colored zonkers. Foot rabbit strips come in a wide variety of color choices, so tie in whatever color you want. Here's an olive fly I tied. Pull back the fur to expose the hide, so the back of the strip reaches back to about the back of the hook. Make 3-4 to four wraps and cinch down the thread very tightly. Then pull the strip rearward and make a couple wraps in front of it. Now for more dubbing. This time we want quite a bit more. Dub this onto your thread and start covering the hook shank with it, up to about halfway up the hook shank. Go ahead and add more dubbing if you need. Then brush out this dubbing to make it looser and stick out more. Now we need some red or orange rabbit strip to form a gill. You could even use pink. We do not need very much of this, only maybe about a quarter to a half inch of a strip. Wet your fingers and pull the fibers outward and parallel to the strip. And then clip the fibers with a chip clip or a dubbing loop clip. These I did not grasp the entire strip because the strips have longer fibers than the other ones I'm using. I reviewed these clips recently and I will link that review below. Cut off the skin of the strip to leave just the fur. Now make a dubbing loop. Add some wax and dubbing twister and place the fur in the loop with the clip like so. On this one you want to leave a little bit of space between the back of the fibers and the loop to create more mass. Then just twist up your loop and create a dubbing hackle. Tease out the fibers a little to make sure they're not trapped and then wrap this onto your fly with touching wraps. Stroke the fibers rearward as you do. Pull the zonker strip rearward and then tie down the strip tightly. Now we will take about a half of an inch length piece of the tail color zonker and do the same thing with the clips, loop, and wrapping. For some flash, I like this gold holographic flashaboo, but just add any color flash you want to add. Take one piece and fold it in half to make two, and then tie down the double piece on the side of the fly, extending back to just about the back of the hook. Do the same thing on the other side of the fly. Now for another section of the main color rabbit zonker. Clipped, loop, and spun up. When you reach the hook eye, tuck the wrap tightly behind the eye and then capture the loop. Wet your fingers and stroke the fibers rearward and then tie over them, right behind the eye to secure the loop and keep the fur rearward. After clipping off the loop and cleaning up the head, then whip finish your fly. Now you could use head cement to glue the head there, but I like using this UV curing resin made by Solares called Ultra Thin. And I also reviewed this light recently, in which I will add a link in the review below as well. Put a little resin on the thread wraps and cure it hard with your light. Now brush the fur forward. Yes, I know, this sounds counterproductive, but just trust me. And then brush them rearward again, and this will ensure that all the fibers are aligned properly. Now you could always run these under the sink quickly to align the fibers as well. Anyway, you're finished. A nice compact small streamer that moves very nicely in the water. The rabbit fur flows well and the profile is almost perfect to mimic a sculpin, but it could also mimic other small bait fish as well. As you probably noticed, I used some products made by Solares. They have awesome prices on hooks, rods, reels, and many other fly fishing items. Go to check them out at www.risenfly.com. Also, type in the discount code for an instant 15% off of anything in their store. Not just the first time you check out either. 
They're offering this discount for anyone who watches my channel. It's our way of saying thank you for being my subscriber. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an excellent weekend. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.